Do you struggle to find strengthening exercises for your arthritic knees? Well, I tell you what, today we're gonna to go over four, not three, but four exercises you can do safely without increasing knee pain. So by strengthening the muscles around the knee, it stabilizes the joint and it can decrease the arthritic pain. Mike, can you elaborate? So we're gonna work on strengthening four different muscle groups. First, we're gonna focus on the quads, the big muscles in the front of the thigh. Then we're gonna work on the hamstrings, which run from your buttocks to the back of your knee. You have three on each side. Then we wanna focus on the glute med and minimus, which are on the side of your hip. And lastly, we're gonna do the glute max. That's right, so that's all gonna come into play. We're gonna show you just just a second. So for the first couple exercises, you can either do it in a seated position or a long sitting position like I am here. You're gonna need a pillow of sorts or you could possibly do it with a rubber ball. The first exercise is actually gonna work on your terminal knee extension or how far you can strength, straighten your knee. So what you're gonna do is get in a long sitting position and push the back of your knee into the pillow. You're gonna actually hold it for about five seconds and then relax. We wanna try to repeat this five to 10 times. Now, if you're doing it in a chair at home, you're gonna need a stool like this or Ottoman, not Autobahn, and go on. And we're really working the quads, doing the same thing. I'm really pushing down, straightening the knee, and you actually feel the quad muscles. You can feel them contract. That's really getting your maximum strengthening. Just like Mike said, five seconds. How many reps? 10 repetitions if possible. There you go. Next one you want to focus on is the hamstrings. Now to do this, you don't necessarily need the pillow there if you don't want, but you're gonna actually push your heel into the mat. Again, just an isometric hold. You should and feel the hamstring muscles engaging here and then relax. Try to do five to 10 reps of that exercise. There you go. In this situation, you might want to get the stool or the ottoman farther out and push down. You can see my heel pushing into the cushion. And again, you can feel the hamstrings work very well. It's going to be good feedback. Now exercise number two is gonna engage the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes. And what we're gonna start with is basic and go to advanced options with this. So the first thing is simply sit the stands. If you really have a lot of knee pain, sitting on a higher surface or in a chair with armrests can really help. Push up with your arms, try to go up nice, slow, and controlled. And also try to sit down slow and controlled. Oh. Don't just fall over into your chair. Again, you know, start with five repetitions, work up to 10 if possible. Yeah, and one thing you want to keep in mind is your mechanics. Try to avoid this rocking motion if you can. If you want to isolate and strengthen those muscles, just take your time, use the armrest. Depending on your knee pain, of course, work with things. You know, if your knee pain is real bad, you may only go partially down and then push back up. That's okay. And after a few, hopefully it loosens up and you can do the full squat down to the chair surface. Now, if this seems simple, you can do it to a normal chair. No arms are needed. You can advance to what we call a split squat. Squat. It's sort of a lunge. With these, I like to have something I can kneel on, preferably a pillow if you have it, or if you happen to have some type of foam pad. So you're gonna get into the staggered stance, hold on to something if you're new to this. And you can just start with partial lunges like this. You don't have to go all the way down, just getting those knees bending a little bit and straightening. Once you feel comfortable, you can try to lower all the way down, slow and controlled, and then come back up. If this is too painful, you certainly don't have to do this. You can just stick with sit the stands. Again, I'm trying to keep a nice upright posture with my trunk, I'm not leaning forward like this. Try to do five to 10 repetitions on each side. So I put the chair here. If you need more assistance, you can do that. Or you could actually use a cane or a stick to hold on to. Start out with it being easier as opposed to getting into too aggressive. There is one option from the chair before you get to that. You can simply, if this is too easy, arms here and do that. That makes quite a difference. And then if that's too easy, do this, but don't touch the chair and go back up. Make sure you have good balance, of course, and you feel very stable. The third exercise here, you're going to need a wall to do it. It's better if you actually have a physio ball of sorts or a little kickball like that, but you don't need one. It's just a wall slide or a wall squat. So I'm gonna place my back against the wall. My butt is touching as well. Bring your feet out as far as you comfortably can. I'm gonna to touch my head to the wall too, and I'm gonna squat down, go to where you feel comfortable. If it's only part way, that's fine. 
and then come back up. Over time, as your knees limber up and don't hurt as much, you can try going a little bit deeper. This will strengthen your knees through more of a range of motion, which can help with your arthritic pain. Now, I would prefer a ball to do this that Brad is now sitting on. Yeah, you can't have it. <laughs> but the ball allows you to glide up and down a little bit easier versus just using the wall. Couple things that you can do to make this easier. If you go against a door, if your walls are rough, have a smooth door, that can help. If you have a stick or a cane, really, I advise to use that first until you get used to it and you know how it feels. And really important is what kind of footwear you're using. Do not do this, do this with socks on. Make sure you have shoes on and your feet do not have a tendency to slide out because you will go right down to the ground and have a difficult day. Now with the ball, simply place it behind your back. The larger balls are a little bit easier to roll up and down on. So again, get my feet out to a comfortable distance. Don't have them right underneath you. Feet shoulder width apart roughly and then go down. See what feels comfortable for you for depth. If you're feeling some knee pain, you can also mess with the angle of your toes. That might help you as well. Good point. And again, use a stick and actually, you may want to put a nice solid chair to one side. You can use that if it's available and right there when you start out. And where you place the ball will make a difference. You can actually go back up, Mike. You may want to start with the ball closer to your belt line may feel more comfortable and th those are all little tricks that you'll learn quickly after you work with it did you want to show them if they don't have the big ball how to use a smaller kick you, ball you go ahead oh i get to so it's important that you use a ball that's soft if you choose something like a soccer ball or a basketball they will not be very comfortable nice eight inch soft one like this go out and get it from the neighborhood kids see if they'll, they'll be happy to help you out. Feet shoulder width the wide. Again, I'm wearing socks. It's okay on this carpet because they don't slip, but you certainly wouldn't wear, wear socks on a smooth floor. I like to start with it at my belt line. Good posture. And again, oh, let's use this cane. Makes a big difference, a little help. And just start mini, same thing, same concepts as Mike. I would never go lower than my, my femur's going horizontal or my thighs. If you go this far down and you've got knee pain to start with, it might be a good way to irritate it. So just be very cautious with that. Really good way to work those quads and glutes. And the last exercise is gonna focus on the glute medius and minimus. These are actually hip abductor muscles. So what they do is a kick out to the side if you're engaging them. They also keep you upright standing tall when you are walking. So for beginners, don't wanna stand with locked knees, have a slight bend in your knee, and you're gonna keep an upright posture and just kick out to the side as far as you comfortably can and back in. You can hold on to a countertop, walker, chair for support if needed. For beginners, try to do 10 reps and make sure not to teeter to the side like this to get your leg up higher. Also, do not let your leg rotate out. That's a different muscle group. So again, focus, try to do 10 repetitions. Once you do one side, do the other side as well. 10 repetitions. If this seems easy, you can certainly add resistance right away. You can either use cuff weights or some sort of resistance band. If I'm using a band like this, simply stand on it, put it roughly in the middle of your foot here to get it a little tighter, pull up on the bands. And then again, we're just gonna kick out to the side and back in, try to do 10 to 15 repetitions on each side. If you have the large loop bands, they actually work well as, <laughs> work well as well, <laughs> if you was I wanna say that. Now, you really have to have good balance for this if you're using this because you need both hands to hold this. So it's a little more challenging that way. But and this exercise actually works your standing leg as well, because in order to stand up like this, I'm engaging the same muscles. And when you have a band, you can definitely notice it more. So give each exercise a try and pick whatever level you need to start out and slowly progress over time. If any of those exercises increase your knee pain and make it worse and it's not for you, just pick the ones that feel good. Right, and if you wanna look at some more exercises, looking at it from a different angle, there's a video that we're gonna put on the screen. Best five exercises to stop arthritic knee pain. It's a nice video, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Bob and Brad. The two most famous physical therapists on the internet.